The Ash, Lutzi and Susie O'Neill podcast. Uh, speaking of the origin, uh, they, the Queensland team, it hasn't officially been named yet, but the teams are in the paper. And there's a, a kid in the Queensland team called Jermaine Hopgood mm. who plays for Parramatta. And I'm so stoked for him and his family that he's uh, that he's been named for the Queensland team. He's been at Penrith for a couple of years and now he's at, at Parra, but he's a Harvey Bay boy. All oh, right, wow. Which is uh, where I grew up, obviously. He's 25. Yeah, he's 25 now, Jermaine. And he, it, I remember you mentioning him when he got his first start at Parra. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Well, he's one of those kids because he comes from Harvey Bay and I, I actually went through the whole of primary school, like grade one to seven with his mum, Anita. Really? Oh really? Yeah, and um, she a good athlete out of interest. Oh, the Johnsons like it was. She was Anita Johnson back then. Oh, right. uh, they're like rugby league royalty up in Harvey <laughs> Bay. Like Anita's dad uh, was a part of the very first ever team that Harvey Bay had in the local competition up there. They're still involved in rugby league up there. John O, Anita's brother. I worked with him. Played with him at Norths here. He's as tough as Teak, and they're just a solid <laughs> rugby league family, Indigenous family. And, uh, you know, just a huge part of the community up there. And Jermaine is the first player from Harvey Bay ever to play in the NRL. You're kidding? Nope. The first one? The first one. And what was his path? Did he come to Brisbane for school? No. Or did he do do his schooling up there? Yeah, he schooled up in in Harvey Bay. And then he he played uh, like 16s and 17s at the Sunshine Coast and Anita would drive him to training from Harvey Bay to the Sunshine Coast and then he got his start <clears throat> at Penrith and uh, Anita's moved down there now. Like Jermaine's got his own thing there but Anita's just, like she just loves it. <laughs> so she, she the because Anita's got four kids but he's done it so tough and uh, the reason I say that is his dad, yeah. so, so Jermaine's dad, uh, Dale Hopgood, uh, he was... 39 years of age, and this is when Jermaine was just... He eight. Was, he was yeah, seven going on eight years of age, and and Dale was playing for Harvey Bay, reserve grade for Harvey Bay. Apparently he wasn't that great of a player, but, you know, he, he'd, he'd still fill in and play, play footy. And uh, they played up in Bundaberg one day, and... Uh, and Dale played reserve grade, and then after the reserve grade, they'd go and, you know, generally they all the reserve grades would stay there and have a couple of drinks and watch the A grade play, mm. which Dale was a huge part of that. You know, that's why he was playing footy, but he wasn't feeling good after this game, and he said he said to uh, Jono, my mate, uh, Nanita's brother, he said, oh, I'm not feeling that good. I might just go and have a lie down in the, in, in the back of the car. And so he went and did that, and then at halftime of the A grade game, They've thought, oh, he's not, he's not here. Like uh, Dale hasn't come back. That's very unlike him. They've gone and checked the car. He'd had a huge heart attack and he passed away mm. at thirty nine. At thirty nine yeah. years of age, wow, uh, that's le- unbelievable. Leaving poor old Jermaine at the age of seven and Anita with four kids, and and, and Dale was no longer there. And they commemorate him every year up in Harvey Bay uh, with you know in in various ways because he was a huge part of the community as well. Mm. And so to know that. That is his background, yeah. And, and what the what the game of rugby league meant to the Johnson family before that tragedy, and to see that Jermaine has you know survived that, and then and then uh, gone on this this uncharted course from Harvey Bay to make it to the very top to represent Queensland just makes it so much so much more special. Is this his first Origin team? Yes. So he'll be debuting for Queensland. And I, but I, I know when he played under 20s for Queensland, he dedicated that first game in, I think it was like three or four years ago, well, whenever that was, five years ago, he dedicated that to his father. Yeah. At that stage yeah. as well when he oh, played okay. for Queensland under 20s. And it's That'd just, be emotional, wouldn't it? Imagining oh, if your dad was here, Suze, I could see you run out. Suze, it gets me emotional thinking about it because I know the family and just what it would mean what what it would mean to Dale, and knowing what it would mean to Anita, mm. I'm so proud of him. And I know the whole Harvey Bay is he's idolised up there in Harvey Bay. He's an incredible role model, great kid, and especially to the Indigenous community up there as well. Mm. So yeah, shout out to Jermaine Hopgood. Very proud of you, and he will not let us down next Wednesday. Nice. Night. The Ash Lutzi and Susie O'Neill podcast.